What's well, everyone? It's Matt Marzik, and this will be a kit review of this quarter scale custom flash fan art kit. So this was put up by Myriad Studios, and this is something that I was really wanting to paint up. So uh, Jason Fiedler had one at Wonderfest, and he's like, "I got one. You want to paint one?" I was like, "I would love to." So this is I'm doing this for him just because I want to paint one. And this is like way down the pipeline and he's like totally cool with that. So this is like just something I wanted the experience of painting and he had one. So he sent it to me today and there's like no rush for this. So, but it's just one of those pieces that I just really, really liked and just wanted the experience of painting. So he's like, you want to paint mine? He's like, I would love to. So here it is. Just showed up today and it's an awesome piece. Jason's looked really good out on the table at Wonderfest. I think he ended up winning a silver for it. I personally think it should have gotten a gold, so I'm not sure what the judges saw in his paint up that they didn't give him a gold, but this is an amazing piece. So um, here's the parts layout. It's relatively simple. Um, it's got this classic flash look to it. I really, really like it. I love really everything about it. The sculpt, the details. Um, it's very, I was just surprised at how light the box was. Usually these things are freaking heavy. Even something this small is usually really heavy. It was really light. So they're using really high quality materials. Weight does not equate to quality guys just so you know if something's heavy doesn't mean it's high quality um, the quality all depends on the type of resin they use and the casting and that stuff so just because it weighs a ton doesn't mean it's high quality just i reiterate that all the time because people's like oh i wish it was heavier it's like do you just like paying more for shipping or would you rather have something that's you know lightweight made with good materials and high quality this is that piece right here so i can fit them together mostly but let's go through the parts real quick Look at some of the cool features of this thing. Start with the base and work our way up. So right away, the base is just kick ass. Um, I love the details. So we have this kind of, you know, flash is usually depicted running or stopping or making a mess of things. And this is kind of the, got that same look. It's a museum pose, so he's not like in an action pose. But it does show kind of like he was running and he stopped quickly and the, 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 the street around him has kind of um, come up because, from that. There's a maple leaf here, so someone correct me who knows this. I'm assuming maybe he's Canadian. I could be completely wrong on that, but there's a Canadian or there's a maple leaf here, which is to me speaks Canada. I could be completely off my rocker on that. Um, I love this metal kind of detail around the bottom here. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Um, but I just love it and there's so many different ways you can go with that uh, Jason has given me complete artistic freedom on this. I'm like is there anything specific you want me to do? It's like do your thing So I've got some really cool ideas for metallics down here. Um, you got your awesome flash logo um, Just really really done. It's lightweight. It's hollow cast um, There's a label that um, it's kind of, the labels actually kind of messed up I'm hoping it was like that when Jason got it. There is an art box. It's really simple. It just has the flash logo on it, but uh, again, the base is amazing. And then working up, we have the boots, which are, again, really simple, but done really, really well. Um, the treads are really nice. The folds and the leather are super realistic. Really done really, really well on both of those. Um, I don't know the sculptor's name. Um, I can try to find that out. But you get this real sense that his foot's bent inside the shoe. It's done really, really exceptionally well. And then we'll look at his torso. Uh, again, very simple, classic look. Um, nice texture, nice muscle definition. You know, he's not, he's not a beefy guy, um, at least not in this version. Love the big flash logo going across his chest. They've numbered, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is number six. Maybe this is number six. I think it, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, the feet will get glued in eventually. They got the, these hash marks there. That's you know factories do that when things are going to get glued to get glued to eventually because they get something the epoxy to stick to in the inside the feet here. They have those same kind of hash marks that gives the the glue something to grip to. But really nicely done, and the fit on this piece is amazing. Jason's like, there's no there's no prep. It's like ready to go. So I was like, I'll believe it when I see it. And uh, I looked at it just briefly, and so far it's he's. It's pretty spot on. I don't see anything that really needs to be done, but wash it and go. So, um, yeah, really nicely done. Just a simple seam right here in the pants. Love it. 
uh, and then the arms carry on that same fabric from the top of the torso nicely done none of that more pattern that we've seen in some of the other pieces that that's in the digital sculpt when that happens so that's not present here nicely done and you do have switch outs each arm is a switch out and you have two heads and then the hands so we have one of his right hands here which has the option of this is the um, right hand that holds one of his uh, helmets and the sculpt is beautiful since he's, a, he's an older version of flash and you can see the kind of some of the age in the hands here and the little wrinkles and stuff like that and he's not old he's just showing some showing some age and the hand sculpt is done beautifully to show that uh, this one you'll see the other uh, right hand is simply a closed fist so you get two closed fists and they're very similar love the skin texture it's very subtle some slight veining going on very nice and then his other switch out is his um, these hands will get glued into the arms by the way so like um, that will get glued into that arm this this switch out uh, holds bullets so that goes in there and then his other uh, fist can go in there yeah and they only fit specific specific ways so yeah I mean the fit is really good these will get glued in they got those hash marks again very light it almost feels hollow casted but it's just really light um, again weight does not mean quality so those are those two and then the arms I showed you the arms Helmets are real simple. They're exactly the same. One is meant to go on his head and one's meant to be held. This is the one that goes in his hand because there's no key in the top. But they're both exactly the same. Same one's got a magnet in the top to go on his head. Which then brings me to the head sculpts. So let's look at them together. So they're basically identical. This one looks to have maybe a little more detail in it for some reason maybe a little older this one looks like a little younger to me so maybe you're supposed to have that option a little younger a little older so the younger version what I'm going to call it the younger version because it's a little bit younger is the one that has this that puts that you put the helmet on let's see there we go I mean the magnet's actually not I can't even feel the magnet pulling down you really don't even need it it just sits there it looks great and the sculpt. Love the hair. Love how his hair looks like it's slightly messed up from running. Great skin texture. Let's see how they fit. These fit pretty damn. These fit. Yeah, they fit perfectly into the neck. Perfect strength magnets are not too strong. They're not too weak. Yeah, this must be. This is number six because it's all labeled number six. No gap around the the neck there. Oh, same with the arms. I didn't show you that. Actually, this one has a, a little gap there. I may fix that. Kind of bugs me. Let's see what this other one looks like. Looks like. This one's perfect. That one goes right in. You know, a slight gap, but I don't know if it's, that fits really good. Same with that one. Again, this one is a, I think these, um, like I think these magnets could be a little bit better. This one doesn't feel as strong. I think if it was stronger, I'd pull it in. But uh, it feels. I think it's okay. It's pretty good. My only my only little crit is like this arm seems like the not that one. There's like a little bit of a gap there. It bugs me. So I may do my bondo trick on this arm. I don't want to. I don't want to affect the socket. Just the arm. I may put a little put it on there in that arm and fix that because it's, it's fine everywhere else it's just right there is bugging me so see Jason it's not 100% I told you <laughs> um, what else do you get so in here we get um, whoops, some newspapers that are kind of flying up great pepper, paper texture in those wrinkles and stuff you guys you got two of those well, I'll put them together here on the base here in a second and then we have in this bag, we've got the the bullets which are already painted. I'll just paint over them. They actually painted pretty good. Oops. 
those go in this hand and I, what I like is how they drape over his hand it's pretty cool look at me real quick and show you Let's see I think they go they go through his fingers so I'm off camera trying to figure out how these go in I think they're supposed to go through his fingers I don't want to force them because I don't want to break them. There they go. Yeah. So they go between his fingers like that. So that's a great, great effect. We'll just leave it in there so I don't break it. Uh, and then you get some decals for the newspapers. So the only thing I can think of, one of the few things I can think of on Jason's why he didn't get a goal is that he, has had, he had problems with his decals and he had a little bubbles going on in there. So maybe that's one reason he didn't gold. Didn't get gold, but because um, they look for that kind of stuff. What's really cool with this one is they actually give you eye decals. <laughs> so that's awesome, and they're already cut to the right size. There's a ton of them in there, so they give you lots of extras in case you screw up. So eye decals. There's a lot of decals in the newspapers. Um, so it looks like more than than I need, but I don't know. There's a bunch of decals in the newspapers, and then some pads for the bottom of the base. So let's back up and put this guy together. So first thing is we'll get him standing. Put that foot in. Now he's gonna be a little wobbly because his he's not glued together. The feet are not glued together. Do I have a turntable out here? I do. Let me get them on turntables so I can spin them around for you. Okay. Back up a little bit so I can get the whole thing. Oh, my camera's not. Sometimes my camera looks like it jumps around. Um, let's see. And we have a lot of these, um, two, four, six. So we should have, yeah, so the boots have little wings on them. Those magnetized. Those pinned. They look like magnets, but... They're just some little brass pins, so I won't be able to put those on. But there's little brass pins in the in the wings, so these won't stay on. But you got you got you got six of them, uh, two for each of the helmets, and then one for the um, for the feet. Now he did say he wanted these removable, which may but that goes in there pretty good. May or may not be feasible. We'll see. I think he said maybe on just on the yeah. So that one, those pick in there pretty good. Now they're kind of loose, but um, that's ideal for packing. So they don't need to be like super solid. They may fall off a turnover. No, we're good. So there's that. We'll probably plug them into this one too. Yeah, those plug in really nice actually to those. So it's just the ones in the feet that he was asking me to make removable, um, which we'll try to do. I'm not sure if that's doable, Jason, because there's nowhere to, they've already got brass in there. Um, but I'll see what we can figure out. So those won't go in right now. Okay, so let's do the unmasked or the unhelmeted head. Oh, and this comes off, I didn't even realize that. And let's do this arm, which I believe is just the clothes. Now these won't stay in because they're not magnetized. And this guy takes this one with the bullets. Now that'll stay. It may it may fall out, but yeah, I'm gonna put a little blue tack on it. Nothing's worse than breaking fingers. The first Spider-Man I did, I broke um, 
I was unpacking and I broke, I dropped the hand and broke the fingers, which sucked. I mean, you can fix them, it's just a pain in the ass. I'll just help keep that in there. I could put a little bit on this one too, just keep it in. So I get the full effect. We want the full effect, we don't have the effect. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna step over here and get a ruler. We'll see how tall he is. He'll be a little taller with the, his helmet on. So right now, he's right at, uh, so my ruler showing 21, I take uh, a half an inch off of my turntable. So 21 and a half inches, or is it 20, hold on. Sorry, 20 and a half inches, or 23 quarters about. And then these papers, there's actually magnets in the base of the papers. Let's see where those go. I think this one's gonna go. Yeah, right there. It's pretty impressive they got magnets in those little thin pieces. And that's gonna go. So pretty cool. So this is newspapers. Really nicely done. Yeah, I like his his post is really good. Soup just really, really natural looking. Um He's leaning just a little bit right now because the feet aren't glued, so he'll stand up more like that. All right, so let's take this out. Let's put in the other arm. Ah. Sorry. Some blue tech issues. Make sure I got enough on there so it doesn't fall out. At least there's no fingers to break on this one. Yeah, there you go. That should stay. So you can kind of do that look. So these hands will get um, pinned and glued into place. I really like it with him holding. I think that's my favorite setup is like him holding. That's my favorite right there. I like that a lot. This is really, really nice. If you want to go totally weird, you can do two helmets. <laughs> you would never do that, but. So that magnet's really, really, um, it's really small, but it's just enough to hold it in place. And then obviously you would take this out. So I may be in front of the camera. It happens all the time. You can do that. I like it with him holding it, personally. That's my favorite. I like that portrait better too. It seems to have more texture in it. That's what I, if I had this piece, I would do that. Maybe, maybe do this one. 
That's cool too. That's a good look. I think this. I think this. I think this is how Jason had it displayed on the table. I could. I don't remember if he had the helmet on, but I like this look, personally. So yeah, really nice piece. Um, he had Jason had it displayed on the table with uh, the Sosa Superman. So those actually displayed very well together. Um, yeah, cool. So I'm super happy to, do, happy to do this up for him as a favor. Um, again, who knows when you'll see Jason, but <laughs> uh, hopefully it won't be like crazy, crazy long, but uh, I really appreciate you sending it to me to do it up for you because I really wanted to paint one. So there you go. There's my review of this piece. Um, as far as a scale, nine out of, you know, out of 10, I say it's a nine and a half. I got one little gap on, uh, not this one, but the other one that I'm, I think I need to fix. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty damn good. Like nine, 9.75 will give it um, it's not perfect it's almost there so uh there you go thanks for watching and thanks to jason fiedler who i've been saying his name wrong this whole time um it's so not fielder it's fiedler the d is before the l finally found that after out like after knowing him for a year and a half <laughs> thanks for him to send this out to me and uh i appreciate him letting me do it up for him so as always this is matt rosick thanks for watching guys We'll catch you next time. Bye.